And that breaking news tonight, the manhunt continues for the suspect connected to a deadly hostage situation and shootout in a Roseville Park after he escaped from a hospital early this morning. This is exclusive video you'll only see on KCRA 3. This video is from Livecopter 3. Hundreds of law enforcement officers, deputies and detectives have been searching for the suspect throughout Placer County and we've been on the ground covering the search all day long. Thank you so much for joining us at 11 o'clock. I'm Brittany Hope and I'm Andrea Flores and this is the man authorities are searching for. Eric Abril escaped from the Sutter Roseville Medical Center in Roseville around 3 this morning. Tonight KCRA 3 did obtain this new ring video. This is Abril walking through a backyard. This was from a home in Rockland. The Placer County Sheriff Office does confirm with us tonight that this is Abril in this video. You can see he is shirtless wearing pants as he walks from one side of the yard to the other. KCRA 3 also got this video from another viewer's ring camera. This video shows Abril early this morning and he was walking through a neighborhood after his escape. Law enforcement says that surveillance video shows a tattoo on his left shoulder of what appears to be the ocean waves and bamboo. Again, you can also see he is wearing pants that are bright orange. And we know the search has covered a lot of ground today between Rockland and Roseville, and of course, it's not over yet. KCRA 3's Urko Mana joins us live tonight from Sutter Roseville Medical Center, where Abril escaped from early this morning. Orco, we are inching closer to that 24 hour mark. What's the latest tonight? Yeah, Brittany, it's been about 20 hours since Eric Abril escaped from the Sutter Roseville Medical Center here. And as you guys said, investigators from several different agencies have been working all day to try to find him. We caught up with several of those efforts in different neighborhoods in Roseville and Rockland. Here's a closer look at that and how the community is reacting. Tonight, new surveillance video shows escaped inmate Eric Abril walking through the backyard of a Rockland home around 3.30 in the morning. You can see him more clearly in this surveillance video from another home across the street on Rayner Avenue. He's shirtless and wearing orange pants. Hopefully somebody will see him and call it in. The Placer County Sheriff's Office, Rockland Police, Roseville Police, and several other agencies across the area have been searching multiple locations all day to try and find Abril. The SWAT team seen in full force in different neighborhoods. Abril is the suspect in a deadly shooting and hostage situation at Mahaney Park in Roseville back in April. He's accused of shooting and killing one of the hostages, James McKeegan. The sheriff's office says that Brill went to Sutter Roseville Medical Center on Thursday for an unknown medical condition, but escaped around 3 a.m. Sunday. I work at Roseville Hospital, so um, I know the security is really tight when we have inmates, so I was really shocked that someone actually escaped or, or, or got out. That's the question on everyone's mind. How could this have happened? Well, it makes you wonder, you know, <laughs> how, whether they're doing a good job watching these people. I can't believe he escaped. Tina Van Kesteren lives in one of the neighborhoods where the SWAT team was searching for Abril. She says this is where Abril's mother lives and believes law enforcement thought he would go to her. That makes neighbors feel uneasy. Oh, we're all scared. Yeah, it's, it's scary because we don't know if he's going to show up in our backyard. I mean, of course, we have all our doors locked. Everybody, even this guy, I was talking to him and he said he locked his doors immediately. People still reeling from the events at Mahaney Park say to know the person suspected of causing that chaos is on the loose again is unsettling. That's actually the dog park I take my dog to daily. Um, so when I heard that people were there, why it was happening, I figured that could have been me. Um, yeah, it's pretty shocking, pretty scary. The Placer County Sheriff's Office says Abril was under 24 hour guard at the hospital, so it's still unclear at this point how he was able to get away. I know there's a lot of questions surrounding this case, specifically surrounding the circumstances regarding the escape. Quite frankly, I have a lot of questions as well. I can assure the community that when the time is right, there will be a thorough investigation into how this was able to occur and whether there are any policy violations. But quite frankly, right now, all of our resources are focused on making sure we get a brill back into custody. And you heard the sheriff there. The focus for law enforcement at this point is still finding a brill who again 20 hours later has still not been found. We did hear from the Rockland Police Department saying that all the agencies, including the Placer County Sheriff's Office, which is the lead agency in this investigation, will continue their search overnight. Reporting live in Roseville tonight, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. We know that search might be difficult at this point, Orco, because the sun is down. A lot of people in the community also wondering, of course, 
course, how did this happen? So what do we know about the protocol for an inmate at a hospital? Yeah, Andrea, we asked the Placer County Sheriff's Office about that. When an inmate is brought to a hospital, how many guards there usually are, if that inmate is shackled while they're at the hospital. But the Sheriff's Office told us that it's really a case by case situation. And because Abril was able to escape, they're still looking into what exactly happened here at the hospital. If there was a guard with him at that time, or if he was not shackled, or if he was shackled, those are all questions that are part of that thorough investigation investigation you heard the sheriff talk about, which will be underway again. The focus right now is finding a bro, but that investigation into what happened is definitely a big part of what's next. Back to you. All right, Orko, thank you so much. And Andrea, I want to go to you now because you anchored our team coverage from the field tonight mm -hmm. during five and six o'clock. You covered this when he first committed or allegedly committed these crimes back in April. Right. The community, I'm sure, is just really panicked about this. What did folks tell you tonight? You know, this is scary for them. You know, this is the second time that they have seen this person be out there in the community. Residents tell me, of course, they're on high alert and they're concerned that this guy has not been caught yet. I spoke with residents in Roseville near the command center off Roseville Parkway earlier today, and they say with the initial hostage incident and now this escape, some people can't believe this is happening in their quiet community. A guy who's run from cops before and murdered people. How do you lose him in a hospital? The fact that he got loose again under the watch of whoever's like supposed to watch him was, you know what, Embar it's embarrassing. Abril was originally arrested in April after a shootout with law enforcement at Mahaney Park in Roseville. James McKeegan was killed and his wife was injured after they were taken hostage. Roseville police say McKeegan and his wife were innocent bystanders caught in a confrontation between seven CHP officers and Abril. CHP officer Matthew Hyatt was also shot in this incident, but has since recovered. Roseville police officers released body camera video from that shootout back in April. Where's he at? Muzzle's clear. 11 o'clock. Hold on, muzzle's clear. You get around the chamber? Yeah, I know. Where's he at? I can't see him. Walk him in. You have him. You can take a shot, too. Ron, walk him in. I don't. I don't. Is that him running on the far side? No, I think that's us, I think. My high overboard is too hot. And you can see there just how dynamic that situation was three months ago. Fast forward to now, Roseville police say they only released the video from officers who fired their weapons. Today, I did speak over the phone with Abril's attorney, Matthew Bachman. Today, he shared a statement with me about this. He said, quote, I'm stunned. I hope he turns himself in, end quote. He would not comment on why his client went to the hospital in the first place on Thursday or if he has spoken with his client today. The Placer County Sheriff's Office has set up a tip line for anyone to give investigators information about a brill, where he may be, if you've possibly seen him, any information will help. That number is on your screen right now. It is 916-409-1257. And we are continuing our coverage on KCRA.com as well as on the KCRA 3 app. There you will find the full press conference from law enforcement this morning, as well as more exclusive search video you will only see on KCRA 3 from Livecopter 3. Make sure to download our free app and enable your push alerts to have all of this breaking news sent straight to your phone.